Our next guest uh, joined us just a couple of days ago. He did warn of, quote, tension ahead in tech. Microsoft remains his franchise pick. Brent Phil, Jeffrey's analyst, joins us now. Uh, buy ratings on both. Uh, good choice on Microsoft as opposed to Alphabet, at least, in terms of franchise pick. Brent, but let's start with Alphabet. Stock's down 8.2%. Obviously, worries about a decline in the growth rate of cloud, which differed from what we saw at Azure, Microsoft's cloud unit. What's going on there? What did they say on the call that got your attention? And what does it say about the future? Google's losing share in the cloud. Their market share uh, in the growth rate went from 20 to low 20 percent. And in, in, in infrastructure, they're one third the size of Microsoft. So that tells you a lot. They're a lot smaller than Microsoft and they're decelerating massively. Microsoft, on the other hand, accelerated and is seeing AI starting to boost their, their stream of revenue, and that's gonna have a bigger impact in the next couple quarters. So pretty clear uh, what's happening. Uh, Google's an advertising company. Uh, they've struggled uh, from the outside for a while. Uh, this is really a two horse race. It's Amazon and Microsoft, and the rest of the industry is looking in on those two. Uh, Google, Oracle, they're all trying to battle to get in and get their hands on enterprise cloud. Uh, and we think they're doing a better job, but they are not necessarily becoming the prime. The prime is gonna be Microsoft and Amazon. And it's, I think, as simple as, as that. The Google right. uh, advertising numbers were fine. YouTube, yeah, they were good. Uh, they were strong. Phenomenally well. Yeah, I'm, all right, I, I don't wanna get too off to uh, topic, but I am curious as to the read through then, in your opinion, from Microsoft's uh, cloud to AWS, is that a positive then, uh, as we hear from Amazon later in the week? I think it's a, a positive in the sense that uh, overall cloud demand's coming back because you have to move to the cloud to get ready for AI. I do believe that Microsoft is in a stronger position in taking share against Amazon. Remember, Amazon run one, round one of the cloud, uh, 85 to $90 billion plus run rate in cloud, but they have lost the AI chatter initially. Uh, this is early, but, but Microsoft jumped out, remember, at the beginning of the year uh, and, and was the lead horse in the AI uh, rhetoric. So we think uh, Amazon's got a lot to prove on AI. Uh, we're hearing good things about Bedrock and some of their AI services. They're starting to make, make their way back in, uh, but they are the leader in cloud, and we do believe uh, that they will have uh, good things to say. I don't think it's going to be as positive as Microsoft because remember, Microsoft just has so many sources of revenue that's surrounding this AI story. They have the application portfolio, the cloud, the developer tools. Amazon's got a subset of that business. So I don't think it's going to be quite as strong as Microsoft, and I don't think it's going to be quite as weak as Google. So uh, put it right in the middle of, of what, what Google and, uh, and Microsoft said. Um concern about Google's spending. Do you share in that? You know, I played earlier a, a comment from Ruth Porat, an answer to an analyst question from the call where at least some people have pointed to it and said it didn't give them reassurance that, in fact, revenues are going to outpace spending in terms of growth. Well, they're behind, uh, at least in the enterprise AI race and the, the behind in the cloud, so they have to spend a lot more to catch up there. So that's that's pretty clear. Uh, we, we think, again, they're, they're more optimized. They're seeing uh, better efficiency as it relates to some of the other advertisers. Uh, so we don't necessarily worry uh, too much on the, on the expense side, on the advertising side. On the cloud side, they're going to clearly have to lean in harder uh, to, to catch up to Microsoft and Amazon. So yeah. that, that is absolutely clear. But I don't, um, I don't have a big spending concern at, at Google from what we can see at this point.